Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. I'm Sam. And I'm Brad. This is part three of our go-kart video. This is going to include uh, how we built the steering mechanism and the gas and brake pedals. So enjoy that. Check it out. Okay, our steering spindles that we, we actually purchased these from Go Power Sports, but Honestly, you could probably make them. There's not a whole lot to it. There's a bolt and a piece of heavy wall tubing and a little arm sticking out. Uh, but one thing we didn't have is a bracket to attach the spindle to the frame. So I made these. Um, basically took a piece of fairly heavy wall, three inch square tubing, and uh, drew it out on there, drilled the holes, cut them out, and then ground them into a semi-round shape. And then these will go in here. You put a kingpin bolt through the middle of that, and that is what will act as the pivot for your steering. So we will next attach these guys to the frame. Okay guys, so our chickens haven't properly been introduced this is blue, right here. The brown one's Charlie. This is black one. He's got some brown on his chest. His name is Delta. And there's Echo. And comment below if you know what these four, what their names mean. This is Gin and Cinnamon. They're the elder hens. And then, of course, you've already met Tim and Ricky. All right, steering on go-karts, you can make it as simple or as complex as you want. There's all kinds of crazy stuff about caster angle, which is how much your pivot point leans back towards the front of the cart or forward. There's a camber, which is how much your wheel tilts in or out. There's toe, which is toe in and toe out with your tires. There's all kinds of stuff. There's scrub radius and kingpin inclination angles and enough stuff on the internet to make your head spin. But all we're going to do for this cart is we're going to give it a little bit of caster which which means we're going to tilt the kingpin back just a little bit which does a couple things. It, it makes it more stable uh, when you're going fast not that we're going to go crazy fast with this thing, but it also helps to center your steering. Like it will, if you let go of the wheel, it will automatically try to stay straight instead of wandering all over the place. So that's pretty much as complex as we're going to give it. We're going to give a little bit of caster angle and call it good. So we decided to give our steering seven degrees of caster, and for that we decided to use our old wood template trick. So we cut it at a seven degree angle. And once we have everything where we need it, we'll clamp it and it'll be ready for welding. Shut up, Ricky. All right, you ready to get them tacked up? Let's do it. Do it. Shipment number two came in from Go Power Sports. Here are tire rods and our tie rod ends. This is the stuff that's going to be connecting the steering spindles to the steering shaft. The steering shaft will be controlled by this here fine quality steering wheel. She's a beaut. Okay, we're trying to figure out where to put our steering shaft. And there's, once again, a lot of high complicated math we can do. Or we can just use a 2x4 and some duct tape and some precision eyeballing and get it close enough. The antics garage way of things. That's right. Precision eyeballing. We're going to trademark that phrase. Precision eyeballing. I like yep. it. Oh, you want me to open the door? Please leave! Leave! Be free! Nice. 
nice. Wow. I thought there was enough on it that it wouldn't fall over. Yeah. I was wrong. That's how gravity works, unfortunately. It's basically right. Yeah. It'll work. So for the steering shaft, we're going to be using a three-quarter inch diameter um, circular tubing. And um, obviously we need to cut it down to size still, but we realize that it fits perfectly in this one inch diameter circular tubing. So we're going to kind of use that as our pivot for the steering. So we have all the pieces for our steering shaft um, where we want them. They're in a pretty good position, and now we're just going to have to tack them together. All right. Really light tax on this stuff for now to make sure all everything functions how we want before we weld it out fully. So hit it, Sam. Does everything still turn? Too smoothly. All righty, we're getting there. So we have the steering shaft and everything. Um, the posts welded into place still steers and turns pretty smoothly so that's good but we thought it would be um, a little more fortifying to add a few gussets here just to have some supports so yeah we're going to cut some of those out and Sam is going to design cut and install them 100% himself and I'm just going to watch We got the uh, gussets welded in, which will give this whole front end a lot more strength. And I know it's a little bit premature, but we can't help it. We're going to put the steering wheel on real quick just so we can see what it looks like. Go for it, dude. And this little plate... This little flange that he's bolting it to is just a piece of 12 gauge sheet metal and we just drilled some holes in it and cut it out and ground it into a roughly round shape. And hopefully all the bolt holes line up. They look like they're gonna. We'll probably find some correct size bolts. These are just some that I had yeah. laying in my pile of goodies. A little hot there? Yeah. Still some hot spots. That's the piece that we just welded. And the shaft is just sitting in there. We'll have, still have to uh, attach it for real. But uh, we just wanted to see what this is going to look like. Give it a turn. See how she works. The wood block is... Oh, yeah, it's just sitting in there. Woo! Luxury! This is actually, it doesn't sound like it because it's squeaky, but it's actually really smooth. Nice. Sneak peek! Yeah, so we've, we've all um, welded the steering column into place, and it's still smooth, really good. And um, we attached the pitman arm, we have that welded on now. And now all we have to do is attach the pitman arm to the steering spindles by using the tie rods. Gee, it'll tighten together, but we don't have a nut. There's nuts right here. Nut. Yeah. I keep forgetting and feeling nuts. <laughs> and there's one for the other side. No oh, did, did you do the other side? Uh, no, not with a nut. Yeah. All right. So 
Turn the wheel. See what, see what happens. Okay, cool thing about these tie rods, I uh, could have just made these out of whatever, but the uh, cool thing about these is that they have left hand threads on one side and normal right hand threads on the other side. So to adjust the toe in or out, all you have to do is just turn the shaft. I don't know if you can actually tell, but you can adjust your steering to have some toe in or toe out or however you want it. And then once you get it set where you want, all you do is tighten down these jam nuts. We're gonna leave it loose for now until we do all of our final adjustments. So the last thing on the list as driver controls are concerned is the brake and gas pedals. We went ahead and made one as kind of a prototype to see if it would work or not, but it's pretty sturdy, pretty functional, so we're gonna go ahead and make the other one and that'll wrap it up. Our gas and brake pedals, um, we kind of needed to figure out the geometry of where it would fit and how it would work and how much swing we'll get and all that. So we worked that out on the computer and we just drew it, printed it out full scale, and then we took that, cut it out, cut it, that's a word, right? Cut it out uh, and pasted it to a piece of heavy flat bar here. So then we'll just drill these holes and cut out this shape, grind it smooth, and then I'm going to use, I had some scrap of this 1x3 rectangular tubing. I'm not going to use the whole tube, but I'm going to cut it here and here and use that as the actual pad that your foot rests on. That's what we did on the prototype and it seemed to work, so we're going to do it again. So we're just marking it up for now, so we're just going to use a regular nut and bolt. So in the future when we actually attach this on, we're just going to use a nylon washer and a locking nut so that way it actually stays in place and it's overall just a little more secure. Let's try it again with the correct size nut. Sorry about that. Small problem, it was um, too small. That is a problem. There we go. Alrighty, so it will do yeah. something like this. Let's see what they both look like from the uh, driver's position. <coughs> Boom, bam. Pedal, pedal. Alrighty, it is really hot in here, and I think we're going to call that the end of video three. It's really starting to look like something now. We got a full blown go kart on our hands. It's, really it's does. getting really cool. Uh, steering and brake pedals and stuff, gas pedal worked out good. Next up is the business end of things. We're going to tackle engine, torque converter, sprockets, brakes, rear axle bearings, the whole shebang. Uh, get this thing into a rolling form. So uh, be sure to check that out. And also, we're going to have to paint this thing pretty soon, so paint job's coming up. We're still open for color suggestions. If you have anything, please let us know in the comments. Also, if you haven't seen our last video, make sure you click right over here so that we don't miss out on that. And again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.